ng Kerr TV. More power po sa inyo. Ayala, the 30th architect, Leo Ibar, 
and architect Mario Martinez, Chesta Marvin City Engineer in Peter Green, na tumulong mo para makapos sa pagkakas ng ating city. And now, the men and women from the Ayala Group of Companies, headed by Ms. Marianne Villatrice Zobel, the Ayala Companies. The Head of Business Development in Ayala Corporation, Mr. Jaime Alfonso Zobel de Ayala. The President of Ayala Malls Inc., Mr. Christopher Maglano. Vice President of External Affairs of Ayala Land Incorporated, Mr. Tito Fernando. The AVP Area Head of North Ayala Malls Inc., Ms. A.C. Dinorda. The Cluster Head for the 30th, UPTC and Fairview Terraces, Ms. Fidi Diaz. The Digital Manager, External Affairs, Ayala Land Inc., Mr. Paolo Paterno. The General Manager, Ayala the 30th, Ms. Jonna Cadbari. And the Chief Engineer, Ayala the 30th, Engineer J.C. Lindau. And para naman mo sa Ortega Center Association Incorporated, representing Ms. Lisa Bisani Celerio, the OK President, Sir Adelo Andaya, the General Manager of OK. Once again, magandang mga kapatid. Republic Act 11032, also known as the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery Act of 2018, mandates all government offices to streamline the current system and procedures of government service. Going simply, madali ang pag-ugobyerno para sa kaming kawahan ng mga mamakayan. Para sa mga negosyo na nasa past central business history, or Liga Center. It will all happen here at the Ayala Academy. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let me introduce to you our first speaker. She was the deputy head of the Ayala Laws Group before taking the position as vice president of the Bank of the Philippine Islands or BPI. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Miss Mariana Beatriz Zubel Villayana Aurelio. Pasig and Ayala Malls are together committed to providing 
providing a safe space for businesses to continue to thrive in this difficult environment, operating with only the highest level of safety protocols. We are really thrilled to be in partnership with the city government of Pasig on this initiative, as it enables us to live up to the Ayala Mall's vision of as evolving to many city centers, looking to provide ease and convenience to our neighbors and nearby communities. We are truly honored to be the home of Pasig Cross. If you'll allow me, this is also an especially personal moment for me as well, as I have the privilege of being part of the team under AC Legarda, who opened the mall back in 2017. Back then, we had aimed to position the 30th as a true community center, going beyond just retail stores and looking to position ourselves as a community center providing convenience and ease for everyday needs. I celebrate the team today under BBTS and Jonna, Kai Pai, for making this dream a reality for us all, enabled by the city government of Pasig. Truly an ideal partnership and extremely relevant given the context of today. We hope this can be a model moving forward. Allow me to end by expressing our immense gratitude to the city government of Pasig for the trust and confidence given to Ayala Mall's the 30th. Thank you for granting us this opportunity to be of better service to our community. We are hopeful and we look forward to more ahead. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo. Thank you very much, Ms. Mariana. To give us his New Year message and greetings for the opening of the boss here at the Ayala the 30th, ladies and gentlemen, Pasig City Congressman, the Honorable Roman P.
when we, when we found out that there would be an opportunity to establish a business one-stop shop here in Ayala the 30th, uh, we didn't waste any time and we seized the opportunity uh, through the leadership of our city administrator, Attorney Jerome Manzanero, uh, of course with the help of all of our department heads and our staff and with the support of our Sangunian Pandongsod, uh, under the leadership of Vice Mayor E.O. Bernardo, uh, Congressman Roman Romulo. Uh, this is really a team effort. Kung napansin po ninyo, uh, medyo mabilis yung pag-construct uh, ng uh, business one-stop shop natin. Talagang minadali natin dahil alam natin na pagdating ng big season for uh, uh, renewal, ano, kung lahat pumunta sa City Hall, sa so one-stop shop natin sa City Hall, talagang magsisiksikan po tayo doon. And we would uh, inevitably violate health protocols. It would be dangerous and would pose a health risk uh, for everyone, for our staff, uh, for, for the people who would come and renew. Uh, kaya talagang uh, we are so thankful, we feel very blessed that we have this. And ang ating uh, the late Councilor Yoyong Martinez, welcome po. Kalakpahan po natin. Style na yan, uh, talagang nakakansin po po. So, but again, uh, this is a team effort, you know, uh, from the mayor's office, the city administrator's office, again to everyone who has already mentioned. Uh, as my uh, colleagues from the city government would very well know, there are now approaching a number of, there's now around 30,000 businesses in the city of Pasig. And around one-third of that are businesses who call Barangay San Antonio and Barangay Bogong their home. 30 plus percent, two out of 30 barangays go, but that represents more than one-third of the businesses in Pasig. Ibig sabihin, pag tinignan po natin lahat ng revenue, kasama po ang uh, ira, ang lungsod ng Pasig, yung 10 or 12 billion per year na ginagastos natin para sa mga servisyo, para sa ating mga mamamayan. 20 to 30 percent of that comes from the revenue that we get from the businesses in Barangay San Antonio and Pugong Alumno. Ibig din po sabihin yan, dapat bilang isang lokal na pamahalaan, alagaan natin ang mga negosyo na nasa Ortega Central Business District. Dapat padalingin natin ang buhay nila. Let's make Pasig City uh, business friendly, more business friendly than it is at the moment. And we are committed, the city of uh, Pasig, the city government of our uh, uh, of Pasig City is committed to doing that. And in the past year or year and a half, we have taken uh, huge strides towards the ease of doing business, uh, towards anti-red tape. Uh, we have uh, instituted a lot of new things, reformed a lot of old things, and it's really a long process. At ang pangarap natin para sa lungsod ng Pasig, ang harap natin bilang mga Pilipino, bilang mga Pasigenyo, na darating ang harap na talagang napag sinabing gusto ko magpungkosyo sa Pasig, napakadali lang, and it will be very easy and conducive to doing business. Of course, uh, when we take a look at the legislation that is needed, the policies that are needed from the end of the mayor, from the end of the city administrator, and our BPRO and all of the other offices that will be here, gusto natin, uh, at the maximum, dalawang bisita lang sa one-stop shop natin, tapos na lahat. When we were doing our studies, uh, uh, as Attorney Jerome would know, and of course our uh, BPNO staff would know, and the whole task force that we have assembled for this, uh, for the issue of doing business, there, have, there are times that a business will really go to our uh, city hall 10 times, 12 times, and the record that Attorney Jerome will sa mga averages natin, it's at more than 20 times pabalik-balik sa City Hall. These are uh, things that as, you know, as city government officials, uh, sometimes we wouldn't like to talk about this or sometimes it's very uncomfortable to talk about kasi parang nakakahiya naman, 20 times mo na sa City Hall, di pa rin ako ng business permit. But if we want to improve things, and this is what I always tell our city government officials and also what I tell myself, if we want to improve things, if we want to make things better in the years to come, we have to face the cold hard facts. We have to face the realities if we want to change things and make things better. And uh, I feel that in the last year and a half, and hopefully the businesses in Pasi would agree with me that we have made big strides. Obviously, things are still not perfect. Uh, marami pa tayong kinangang baguhin, marami pa tayong kinangang pagandahin. I use it as a step 
Sultan and the establishment of the one-stop shop here at the Real Duterte is definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, not only will 30% of the businesses in Pasig have, a, have an easier time, uh, but it will also, uh, again, it will help me congest City Hall, it will make things faster. Pero uh, isa parang tinitingnan one-stop shop aside is that we're really trying to clean up our local government. At ang pangarap natin, uh, in, in line with the bigger vision or the end goal of making things very easy for businesses in Pasi to improve our local economy, uh, again, for an environment that is conducive uh, to a, a greater econ local economy here in Pasi, uh, we, you know, our local government is committed to really cleaning up, not only in terms of policy or in terms of legislation, in terms of the actual process, but I think cleaning up in terms of reducing or eventually eliminating corruption in our local government. Ask any, ask any business na nahihirapan, hindi naman sila nahihirapan sa requirements mismo eh. Nahihirapan sila kasi tatlong linggo na yung papel nila sa isang department namin. Hindi nila ma ma maintindihan ko ang inaantay ng mga ibang opisyalis. Dalawang linggo na, dalawang buwan na, hanggang sa umaabot na ng taon, Nagko-comply naman sila pagdating nila, pagbalik nila ng City Hall, may bagong karagdagang requirement na naman na ibibigay sa kanila. And again, we're very committed to this and we've made big strides. At ang pangarap natin para sa lungsod ng Pasig, again, ang pangarap natin din ng mga Pilipino na darating ang araw that one day would come that a government official would be not just hesitant but ashamed to ask for a bribe. Nadarating ang panahon that one day would come, hopefully soon, that a government official will not just be ashamed to ask for a bribe, but also to receive a bribe. At ako naniniwala po ako na that day will come sooner rather than later. But that requires an effort from every one of us who is in this room today, and maybe for those who are watching as well. Hindi po kaya ng mga napangahalaan lang. Kailangan po namin ng tulong sa business sector. Kailangan po namin ng tulong mula sa pagpribado mga individual. Kailangan pag may nakita kayo mali, i-report po ninyo. I know sometimes that uh, businesses would rather just be quiet kasi pag matamaan yung negosyo nila. Uh, baka mamaya, basta halo pa akong pahirapan kung nag-iipit ng papel ko. Pero kung gusto po natin dumating sa isang Pilipinas na hindi tinutolere ang corruption pag us kinasusuklapan natin ng korupsyon sa ating lupa na pangalan, sa ating pangalan in general, sa ating kultura. It needs to be something that we will change together. Hindi sa pag na lupa na pangalan ng ikilos, although we will do everything that we can, we need help from every single person here. Uh, department head command, city administrator command, congressman, konsehal, negosyante command, ordinaryong staff command na may nakikita dapat pag-uhin mo. I encourage you, I implore every single one of us here to speak up. Ngayon, kung meron negosyo, nakita po nila na nag-report sila, wala naman nangyari sa report ko. Problema ko na yung binong ngayon. Ako na may kasalanan nun kung walang nangyari nun sa reklamo. But if no one will help, if no one will report kung ano yung mga nangyayari, kaya sa hindi kung di talaga ayos ang sistema natin. Hindi magpabago sa kultura natin yung mga gusto natin baguhin. Kaya... And I believe with my whole heart, and we have seen the changes, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, we will continue to feel the changes here in the city of Pasi. We will make business, uh, we will make the ease of doing business here uh, better and better. We will continue to do, reduce red tape, but we need to make it, uh, we need to change our culture also. Again, Maraming maraming salamat. This business one-stop shop is a step in the correct direction towards the ease of doing business, whether anti-red tape, towards government efficiency, uh, towards making things easier for our businesses and promoting a healthier and more resilient local economy here in Pasig. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng tumulong para maging posible ito. Congratulations sa lungsod ng bahag na Maraming salamat. Congratulations sa lungsod ng Pasig. Thank you very much, Mayor Rico Soto. At bago po ako palisin dito sa stage na ito, 
Makakilala ko naman po ang aking sarili ako po si Alan Angeles ang inyong pong naging guro ng palatuntunan ngayong umaga. Magandang umaga po. Wala po ka kayo dyan, malang taka. Maraming salamat sa nakakabili yung malang taka. Sisimula na po natin ang ating pong ribbon cutting at syempre po, may I invite Mayor Vito Soto, our City Administrator, Attorney Geronimo Manzanero, Congressman Roman P. Romulo, for the Ayala Group of Companies, Ms. Mariana Beatriz Rubel de Ayala, or Ms. Ms. Jaime Alfonso, Mr. Jaime Alfonso Rubel de Ayala, Mr. Christopher Magdalo, Mr. Dindo Fernando, and our City Councilors, ang ating mga konsihal. At ang major person, Kapitan Alice May, and Kapitan Tomas, Dino Tomas, Lizzie, of Paraguay, sa mga konsihal.